Through the media, you could have been following up the conflict of first a Sudan with Dr. John Garang de Mabio fighting for one Sudan where both Juba and Karatum lived in harmony, and then a South Sudan fighting with itself having one brother, Dr. Riak Machal, on one side and His Excellency Salva Ki on the other. But there's a survivor amid us whose entire business empire was brought down by the war, buildings raised down, merchandise looted, families destroyed, and relocated to Canada and America, not because of his choice, but because saving life became the most immediate priority. But after losing his fortune, Peace Ambassador Dr. Tony Jaja chose not to agonize but to organize. He realized he needed to participate and advocate for peace building for a better Africa. For the last two decades, Ambassador Tony has been moving from one peace conference to another across Africa and in the diaspora rooting for a united Africa. As council member of the High Command of worldwide Pan-African movement who has won numerous peace awards globally, Ambassador Tony clearly cuts out himself as an icon of peace drinking from the cup of his mentor and senior Dr. John Garang who paid the highest price through a helicopter crash while on a peace mission from Kampala on July 30th, 2005. Ambassador Tony Jaja from South Sudan is now a successful international businessman with interest in global and regional business conglomerate. He has ably represented Africa on several peace negotiations on the continent and outside the continent of Africa. It's only fair that we give him his flowers when he's still alive, lest we act late like it has always been with his mentor John Garang, Patrice Lumumba, Brother Kanoma Magadafi, Thomas Sankara to mention but a few. Dear comrades in the struggle, let's give a standing ovation to Ambassador Tony Jaja as he receives this year's African Renaissance Award. Bye.